Greenland sits high in the North Atlantic, straddling the Arctic Circle. It's the world's largest island, bigger than Mexico, yet one of the most sparsely populated places on Earth. Altogether, its landscape is a frozen wilderness. Towering glaciers spill into icy fjords. Snow blankets jagged peaks. Winds sweep across endless plains of white. Over 80% of its surface is blanketed by an immense ice sheet, with ice piling up to over 3,000 meters thick at its center. It's a land defined by snow, glaciers, and freezing temperatures. So in a land this cold, this frozen, this inhospitable, could anything as lush and fragile as a forest possibly survive? Surprisingly, just one. Hidden in the far south, tucked between mountains and sheltered from the harsh Arctic winds, lies Kingwa Valley, Greenland's only natural forest. It's a narrow, green corridor where willows and birch trees grow several meters tall, and over 300 plant species flourish. In a land dominated by ice, this valley is a rare and remarkable exception. While it's called Greenland's forest, Kingwa Valley is tiny, just 15 kilometers, 9.3 miles, in length, more like a thread of green stitched into a frozen landscape. Most of Greenland was scraped bare during the last ice age. Kingwa's unique position, protected between mountains and close to the ocean, allowed trees to recolonize here when the glaciers retreated around 10,000 years ago. The birch and willow trees here are genetically distinct, considered remnants of pre-glacial plant life. Despite being a forest, most trees are under 7 meters tall, 23 feet, giving it more of a shrubland appearance. Still, it's lush by Greenlandic standards and boasts more plant species than almost anywhere else in the country. You can't just drive into the forest. Reaching Kingwa Valley requires hiking or traveling by boat through fjords and then trekking inland. It's one of the most isolated forests on Earth.